my my life verse, right, my favorite verse right now, what's impacting me more than anything else, is uh, something that I quote from stage uh, every time we sing. It's uh, Romans chapter five, verse ten. It says, even when we were God's enemies, He made peace with us because His Son died for us. Yet something even greater than friendship is ours. Now that we are at peace with, with God, we will be saved by His Son's life. And in addition to everything else, we are happy because God sent our Lord Jesus Christ to make peace with us. I grew up in a really legalistic setting, a really legalistic environment, uh, where I didn't realize that there was any part of relationship to it. It was all about you go and you sing your hymn, and you, you have your response time, and you have your memorized... Uh, traditional things and, and you just go through the motions. Church was going through the motions. It was very structured. Um, but something that being a part of the Imperials ministry for the last four years has really revealed to me, really been changing in my life, is that our relationship with, with Jesus, with God, is just that as a relationship. It's so much more deep. It's so much, there's so much more depth and breadth to it than, uh, than just, uh, just some traditions, just some, some empty um, motions. It's uh, he loved us so much that when we despised him, when we were coming against him, when the whole world was moving against him, he still laid down his life mm -hmm. so that he could save us. You know that that is a huge step in trying to set up a relationship. And here it, he calls us friends. It says, "What well, we we have something even greater than friendship with God." What was greater than friendship with God? You know, having a friendship with God was not even a reality to me. That's not even possible to me. God was. God was this thing so unapproachable, so unreachable to me. And, and something very comforting about that is it just shows you that God, while He is elevated, while He is on the throne, He is approachable and He is reachable. And, and it's, it's very, very easy to come into His presence. And it's very, very easy to be able to talk to Him and share that relationship with Him and have Him change some of the things that you're living in. And you, don't have to, you don't have to live in the same struggles and the same burdens. You don't have to go through those things over and over again because He's there and He's your friend and he can help you work through those things. Scholars will say that the Sadducees and the Pharisees could quote, you know, half of the Old Testament, or three quarters of the Old Testament, but yet when the Word walked in right before them, they didn't even know who he was. Mm -hmm. And I don't want to be that kind of Christian. I don't, yeah, that, that God was with them, the Word was with them that was dwelling in flesh. I don't want to sit here and, and read this whole Word and just have it here and never bring it to where it was supposed to to be inside. It said that, that Mary hid the words in her heart, that it was not just something that she thought about, that it became part of her. And that's what the word's intended to do, not so you can memorize stuff. I mean, that's good too, That's but if it becomes part of you, then you become part of it. And it, it whatever mm -hmm. it says, and you'll recognize it, it, it becomes who you are. Yeah. And that's what the word is intended to do, not something that you can just memorize, that you can quote, but it's supposed to be something that you live out and that becomes who you are, not just part of your thinking. Jesus, you're my king. I'm thanking you for what each new day brings.